Hey everybody, I'm going to do some more complicated trigonometric identities in this video. Um, I picked some ones that look fun to me, and I actually haven't verified them yet, so we're going to verify them together. So here's the first one. 3 cosine of theta minus 4 sine of theta, the quantity squared, plus 4 cosine of theta, plus 3 sine of theta, the quantity squared is supposedly equal to 25. So let me make sure I copied it down right. 3 cosine theta minus 4 sine theta squared plus 4 cosine theta plus 3 sine theta squared is 25. Perfect. And again, I haven't verified this yet, so we're going to do it together. Now, obviously, I'm going to choose the left-hand side because <laughs> I have no idea how 25 is going to convert to that. But I can manipulate this side into maybe 25. And already everything is in terms of sine and cosine, so I don't, I'm not going to use that. But I do see that there's algebra. I have a, a perfect square trinomial, a binomial to the second power. So I'm going to go ahead and multiply this out. So this is a 9 cosine squared theta minus 3 times 4 is 12 times 2, which is 24 sine theta cosine theta. And then the last term plus 16 sine squared theta, hopefully I have enough space, plus multiply this out, this is a 16 cosine squared theta, plus the product of these, I got 24 sine theta cosine theta, and then plus a 9 sine squared theta, and this is supposed to be huh, 25. Okay, I'm going to group stuff. Um, I like how this looks. This 9 cosine theta squared plus 9 sine squared theta. Put those together. I notice that negative 24 sine cosine plus 24 sine cosine is gone. And then I see this. 16 sine squared plus 16 cosine squared. So let me see. Why is that stuff that I like and then that's important. Well, the stuff that canceled is nice. Let's go ahead and bring these together. The 9 cosine squared theta plus the 9 sine squared theta and then plus the 16, I'll just put cosine squared theta plus the 16 sine squared theta equal to 25, right? This plus this plus this plus this. Now, these two have a 9 in common so I can factor out that 9 between the two of them, and hopefully you guys are thinking ahead, these two have a 16 in common, so I can factor out the 16. Hopefully you guys are thinking ahead. What do you notice? Cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. Cosine squared plus sine squared is 1. So really this is 9 times 1, which is 9, plus 16 times 1, which is 16. Aha, 25 is 25 and this is verified and maybe you guys initially got scared because of how much I wrote it looked horrible but at the end of the day was it that difficult no here's another one that I like again I haven't done it yet but it looks like it has some stuff that might be important algebraically sometimes we forget algebra you know and that's one of the harder parts of the verification of trigonometric identities because you could see that there's so much algebra involved. So sine over 1 minus cotangent of theta minus cosine over tangent of theta minus 1 is equal to sine plus cosine. Okay, so I'm definitely going to choose the left and I hope you guys recognize that I have a cotangent and a tangent so I'm going to convert them into sine and cosine first. So I'm going to have a sine of theta over a 1 minus, oops, over a 1 minus cosine theta over sine theta, which is the same thing as cotangent, minus cosine of theta over sine of theta over cosine theta minus 1 is equal to sine of theta plus cosine of theta. Now these two both became complex fractions, if you guys noticed. And what I do with complex fractions is, I'm going to put those over 1, and I'm going to do a common denominator on the bottom. 
So I'm going to bring these together into a single fraction and bring these together into a single fraction. So you'll see that I have sine of theta over sine of theta. I'll show all my work. Sine of theta over sine of theta minus cosine of theta over sine of theta. I do this in order to be able to combine them into a single fraction. Sine of theta over cosine theta minus cosine theta over cosine theta is equal to sine of theta plus cosine of theta. Okay. So again, all I did was convert the ones into fractions so that I have a common denominator between the stuff here and then here. So this is a sine of theta over. Common denominator, now I could bring these together, sine of theta minus cosine theta, all over sine of theta. Hopefully you guys know where this is going. I see it already. Cosine theta over sine of theta minus cosine theta all over cosine theta is equal to sine of theta plus cosine theta. These are complex fractions, okay? So what you do with a complex fraction, this is a fraction divided by a fraction. So you can write this as sine of theta over one divided by this whole thing. Same thing, cosine of theta over one divided by this whole thing. Let's see what happens when I do that. So sine of theta over one divided by sine of theta minus cosine theta all over sine of theta minus cosine theta over one divided by sine of theta minus cosine theta over cosine theta is equal to that. Okay, I don't have space, is equal to that. So here we go, when I divide fractions, I keep the first and I flip the second and I change the multiplication. Sine of theta, I already see it. Times minus cosine theta, same thing, keep the first, flip the second, change the multiplication. Okay, I'm gonna need to go to the next page. So here we are, sine squared theta over sine of theta minus cosine theta, right? And then minus cosine squared theta over sine of theta minus cosine theta. That's awesome. They're already with a common denominator for me is equal to sine of theta plus cosine theta, right? So here's what I did. Once I kept the first, flipped the second, and changed the multiplication, I have a sine of theta times a sine of theta on top, which gave me sine squared over sine minus cosine. Same thing here. I have a cosine times a cosine, cosine squared over sine minus cosine. And that is equal to the right-hand side sine plus cosine and the nice thing is I have a common denominator I could bring these together I hope you guys are looking at the top there that numerator looks like another special factoring case sine squared minus cosine squared over sine theta minus cosine theta is equal to sine of theta plus cosine theta this is a difference of squares here it factors into a sine of theta minus cosine theta times a sine of theta plus cosine theta. Conjugates, a product of conjugates, right? A difference of squares. Special factoring. And once I factor that, I hope you guys notice, here we go. The stuff that I don't want goes away and I'm left with just sine of theta plus cosine theta on the left, which is exactly the same as sine of theta plus cosine theta on the right. Boom, I just verified my identity. These could be fun, but you see there's a lot of algebra involved. So if you have problems with algebra, or you forget some of the stuff, this had a lot of complex fraction stuff. Dividing fractions, dividing rational expressions. These are rational expressions. 
okay? Difference of squares that I needed to know how to factor. If I don't know these things, it makes it more complicated. Again, I started with, you know, quotient identities to be able to convert it first. So it's a combination of a lot of algebra and a lot of, a lot of different identities and things from trig. All right, any more you guys need? Again, I'll, I'll try to do more, but if you, there's certain ones that you want to look at, then let me know because there's a lot of identities out there. And they're fun to do and they're fun to try. It's like, just try them out, do as many as you can. Um, but let me know if you guys have any specific ones that you need to do, all right? All right, subscribe.